Good news, everyone. Stalker Clear Sky is here to satisfy all of your unanswered questions from the first game. Like, um, uh, geez. Well, we can't think of any, actually. But that hasn't stopped the developers from making this prequel. Like the first game, Clear Sky takes place in an alternate timeline where the fallout of Chernobyl has given way to a post-apocalyptic nightmare. You play as Scar, a mercenary who somehow survives an explosive anomaly that kills the group he's with. You wake up in the base of Clear Sky, a mysterious faction who is working to unlock the mystery of the Fallout Zone. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. The best change is the updated graphics engine. While the first installment looked like a mediocre Quake 4 mod, this one actually exhibits a modern sheen. You look better, that's for sure. This really helps to sell the atmosphere. Stalker Clear Sky's greatest single accomplishment is that it creates an eerie living universe that teems with gritty life. Unfortunately, the skies aren't all sunshine. The story just really isn't compelling on a moment-by-moment basis. Tell a few dirty jokes and my job is done. Also, the game is really buggy, even after the first patch. Let's hope game makers can fix that as time goes on. And at certain points, the game forces failure on you for lazy story reasons. So even though you've gotten your inventory just the way you like it, you'll have to start over again because the game decided to awkwardly advance the narrative. This story's finally got a damn good ending. Ultimately, this is a halfway decent FPS. It still relies on ancient tropes like exploding barrels, and the addition of RPG elements doesn't save it from that painful reality. If the gameplay could live up to the eerie, haunting atmosphere, this entry would be looking at a better score. But sadly, it can't. Stalker Clear Sky gets a post-apocalyptic 3. I'm not even that surprised. Out of 5.